In this video, my friend Rachel and I will demonstrate how to hold the base while sitting. But first, a few words about the stool itself. Okay? We have several stools out here right now. I think it's ideal to use a wooden stool, which is right here next to Rachel, for, for a beginner. Okay? It has two rungs for uh, each pair of legs, which makes it um, easier to find a nice, comfortable position. But there are all these other different stools, and they all are fine, but they have some disadvantages to them. For instance, there's only one rung on each of these stools. So there isn't any flexibility for how high um, the student's left knee will be. And we'll get to that later on in the video. Um, the other thing is, for instance, this one, the rung is very, very low. So that's not ideal either. But again, if these are what you have, you can make them work. But I think for a beginner, it's good to start with a wooden stool. So Rachel, why don't you grab your base and we'll get started on how to hold the base with the stool. The first thing you want to do is you want to adjust the end pin to make sure the base is at the right height. And to check the height, I'm going to have Rachel face the base like that. Very good. And put your right hand down. And if the bridge is touching your hand between the knuckles and the tip of your fingers, then it's approximately the right height. So this looks good. All right. Let's grab our stools. And let's just sit on the edge of the stool. So you want to make sure that the student's feet can touch the ground. If they're not touching the ground, then the stool's too high. And you also want to make sure that there's a nice bend in the knees. If, they, if, the, if the knees are locked and the, and the legs are straight, then the stool is still too high. So this looks good. That stool is a good height for, for Rachel. You want to make sure that your right foot is nice and firmly planted into the floor with a nice bend in the knee. And then we're going to take your left foot and we're going to put it on one of the rungs. OK, so Rachel put it on the top rung first. How's that feel to you? It feels a little uncomfortable. Yeah. So it's a little bit strained for her this way. So I'm going to have her put her foot on the lower rung. All right, good job. So the important thing to remember about where to place your left foot is that you want to make sure that the knee is high enough so that there's enough support on the base so it doesn't fall back, but also there's enough um, uh, you're, you have enough access to reach all the, the spots on the fingerboard. And you'll see more about this later in the video. OK, now I want you to just take the base and put it in front of you. Hold it with both of your, your hands. OK, good. Now bring it back in towards your body. And I'm just going to help Rachel adjust just a little bit. So the base is actually touching on the side of her, um, on the inside of her right thigh just a bit. And it's resting on her left knee. Now, if the knee we're down too low, and she tried to play, the base might fall back this way. That's why it's important to make sure that you have enough um, support with your left knee. But also, you want to make sure you have enough access to the whole fingerboard. Show everybody how you have access to the fingerboard. She can actually go almost touch the bridge. I bet she can even touch the bridge, can't she? Almost. So she has plenty of access right now. That's very, very important while you're sitting. Just one more thing. I want you to grab the base up here by the nut and just point in towards your head. And it's approximately right around her ear, which means that this is, this is a very good setup, a very good starting position for her. She might have to make some adjustments as she's learning, but this is a good starting point. Another thing to, to remember is if a student is too young or too short, sitting on the stool might not be right. So you might want to have the student standing for a while before you start having them sitting on a stool. All right, and one more thing. You want to make sure that you have a, a qualified teacher helping you out with this. Doing it on your own might not be the best idea. Thank you so much, Rachel.